this stuff keeps me sane and happy. I could write without it if I was sane and happy. <laughs> you know? But actually, the thing I would actually say about it is I think it's very good for creative people, but it is a terrible, terrible drug in terms of, in terms of, you know, it, you've got to be in the right position in life to take it. You've got to have at least achieved most of your ambitions. Well, George Michael clearly enjoys smoking cannabis, but is it a helpful herb or a dangerous drug? Joining us now from Westminster, Andy Cornwall from the Legalised Cannabis Alliance and in our central London studio, Marjorie Wallace from the mental health charity SANE. Marjorie Wallace, let's start with you. In that clip, that interview there with George Michael, he says cannabis and smoking it keeps him sane and happy. I suspect many of your members that you represent feel quite the opposite. It makes them anything but sane. Yeah, I mean, uh, it makes people insane. It makes young people particularly insane and families disastrously unhappy. I mean, I know George Michael is saying it's a terrible, terrible drug and that it really you have to be older and you have to have done all you want in life. But the messages it's giving out is that it's quite cool to do it, that you can do it. But for the vulnerable people, those about 10% of people in their teens and early 20s, it can actually be a drug that creates a serious mental illness for life and puts them at risk of suicide. So it's for some people, and not everybody, it can be a devastating, not just a sort of chilling out for a sort of a, a trip, a relaxant trip, but actually a devastating journey from which they never return. And the call, well, the evidence is incontrovertible, as Marjorie Wallace points out. There are serious medical health problems lying ahead for anybody who becomes an habitual cannabis smoker. It's true there's some evidence that problems arise from cannabis use. The real issue is we want a social policy that works. Prohibitions failed miserably. There'll always be some young, vulnerable people that shouldn't be using any intoxicant. The issue is how do we educate, how do we spot that at an early age, how do we speak openly about mental health issues, and I think Marjorie would agree the last thing we want is stricter penalties.